Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Welcome to your bi-weekly flood forecast for January 10th to the 23rd. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you look at personal read with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com, okay? Also, please remember these are general messages. They're not gonna resonate with everyone. So you can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul, your moon sign represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are. So feel free to cross watch for more information. So uh, we'll be doing things differently today. We're gonna be doing an assessment of the connection. So you could be anyone and you could find out the assessment of that connection as well as the feelings. So this can be whoever you turned on this, this video for. And then we're gonna do the outcome and then we're gonna jump onto the singles, okay? So um, if you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. So let's jump right in. What is going on with my Sagittarius's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Sagittarius's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Sagittarius's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Sagittarius's romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is going on my Sagittarius? Love interest. How does my Sagittarius love interest feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. If you guys are interested in ordering, pre-ordering this deck, all the information is in the description box below. This is my own Oracle deck that I'm working with today. How does... What's going on my Sagittarius' romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Show me cards you need to see. Whoops, what card was that? Bear card energy, strength and control. What's going on my Sagittarius' romantic love life? January 10th to the 23rd, show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this is going to be for the status of this connection. This is going to be blockages, delays, and challenges. This is going to be what this person needs to make this connection work. This is the influence. And this is our outcome here. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. And this is their feelings. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Okay. All right, so what's going on with the status of this connection? So we see 10 of pentacles now. 10 of pentacles can, yes, represent family and long-term commitment. 10 of pentacles can also represent money. I don't know if you guys know that, but 10 of pentacles can also represent something to do with money. So, and we see store card energy. There is something to do with improvements or changes here or migration. So um, there's some improvements that have happened with this connection. And for some of you, it's because of family, right? Because Stork does bring home the baby. So something to do with family and improvements around this connection. What is the blockage, delay, and challenge, though, around this connection? Hangman energy is saying there's some something that's stuck here, or something that's stagnant here, or a sense that ha sacrifices have to be made. Uh, because of the bear card energy that wants to come out again. Okay, bears are motherly energy fatherly energy right something to do with strength or courage to make that sacrifice which is part of the blockage delay and challenge so we see what does this person need to make this connection work by the pentacles energy um they need uh the sense of not being left out in the cold they need not having the sense of loss there five of pentacles energy they need some kind of change here. Okay, so if we look above here, 10 is to do with completion because someone wants to put the work or effort into a sacrifice towards healing and recovery. There's some changes or challenges here because of healing and recovery, tree card energy. Again, a five there. What's influencing this? Something that was shocking, something that was surprising about what happened here. The tower card energy so there were some big surprises big shocks that happened here something that was unexpected something that took you by surprise or the other person by surprise when it came to love so it was very shocking 
This love connection was very shocking, very surprising. That's what's influencing this. Yes, yeah, Dork says there was improvements and changes because of healing and recovery because of strength for love. Ten says there was something that was completed because there were some challenges and changes in the sacrifice that was really shocking, surprising. Wow, okay. So let's see how this love interest feels. They feel that there's a lot of regret here. They feel a lot of regret. They feel regretful about not being honest with you. Deception card energy. About the fact that they were obsessive. <laughs> okay. All right. So they feel like there were some unhealthy reflections of the past. And they feel like they want forgiveness to, to begin here. So healing can begin. So I see the tree card energy. Yeah, it makes sense. Healing and recovery because the sense of being left out in the cold. They feel like there was something deceptive. They feel like things were not as they seem and they were trying to watch out for dishonesty and that would explain what this tower card energy was about. Something shocking about the situation, something surprising when it comes to love. And they feel that there is some obsessions here. So they feel like they're obsession, obsessing about you and they have strong desires and attachments here around this connection. So they're really regretful about things. They feel bad about it and they want forgiveness and they're trying to be honest with you with this deception card energy about this obsessions or these strong desires and attachments that they have towards you yeah again we see this person's like i want to fight for this i want to defend my position i want to fight for this i want to defend my position i feel so regretful i feel so bad five of cups energy about some secret here high priestess card energy again there's some secret here coming out here let's let's clarify this further this person wants some kind of change travel or movement because of secret about people well the people car can be family friends more than one choice or option so they're they wanting to defend their position because they're regretful about the secret about people family friends or maybe even want more than one choice or option hmm Let's go further on this, okay? They want things to turn in their favor. They're taking charge of things with the chariot card energy. They wanna to travel towards you. And they've done a lot of deep, heavy soul searching here with the hermit card energy. Wow, this is a pretty pretty extensively deep uh, reading here. Guys, you can uh, check out your monthlies to get more information about what's going on here for the more of the overall for the whole week, because obviously there is a lot, of a, a lot more of a, um, a de definitely a very, very um, deep, interesting situation going on here with the situation. This person is really regretful. They're letting you know, feelings-wise, that they're regretful about some deceptions, about obsessions, about strong desires and att attract attachments. How can I speak today? Um, and um, they want to defend their position because they feel this regret about the secret. They're wanting things to turn into favor, so they're going to take charge of things because they've been doing some deep, heavy soul searching. Wow. Okay. Yes, guys, you know I want to hear from you, so let me know in the comments below, okay? And, um, of course, you can check out your monthlies. All right, we're going to jump on to our singles. Um, you guys can stick around if you want because I do hear from you guys and tell me that some sometimes both readings do resonate with you. So we can get more information about what's going on here. So stick around if you'd like. All right. All right, so what is going on with my Sagittarius's singles romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? What's going on my Sagittarius singles romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What is going on my Sagittarius singles romantic love life for January 10th to the 23rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so there could be for some of you uh, a sense of trying to heal here with the judgment card energy. Uh, for some of you, it may be a person from the past coming back here with the judgment card energy. Yeah, some of you are still dealing with a lot of hurt and pain with the whip card energy. Um, all right, or you're having arguments and disputes with a person who wants to reconcile with you. What's part of the blockage delay and challenge? There's a fast moving action happening 
Yeah, something to do with travel or movement here. Some movements happening, something happening quick, maybe quicker than you think with the Knight of Swords energy. Let's see what the influence is, Empress. They, yeah, definitely you are, um, you know, radiating that attractive energy out with that Empress card energy. Uh, there could be a sense that somebody wants to take care of you. They want to nurture you with the Empress card energy. Yeah, we see a person card coming out. Let's see what the outcome is here. Yeah, the Sun card shows me there is a sense of happiness and friendship. Three of Cups energy or hanging out, celebrating. And look at that, a Twin Flame soulmate connection, a choice you're going to have to make with the heart. So... Luck is going to turn in your favor and you're hanging out, you're celebrating and it looks like you're going to have to make a choice of your heart, something to do with a twin flame soulmate connection. There's romance here with the moon card energy and a letter, a message or document here about a commitment, engagement or marriage with the ring card energy. Wow. Okay. All right, guys. All right. If you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another day or two. Have a great rest of your couple weeks. And I will see you soon. Thank you to all my members.